はいございますチリオス おはようございます。Immigration office in Shinagawa is.、Uh, so, this, this is for people from Yokohama. But, you know, I'm sure you'll be able to find your way in whatever、uh, prefecture you're in Osaka, Hokkaido, da 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 da. But, people from Yokohama,、uh, you can get to the Torihama immigration office via JR Keihin Tohoku、uh, or KQ Sen, KQ Lane. Uh, either way, you want to be in the Sagita、uh, city, uh, Sagita uh, area. The bus is number 61 from Shin Sagita Station.、Uh, it's, you know, it's hard to miss. It actually says Immigration Bureau.、Uh, relatively cheap, it's 100 yen as opposed to 220.、Uh, during peak hours, off peak, it's normal 220.、Um, that will take you straight to the Immigration Bureau on the coast.、Uh, what you want to bring. Is you definitely obviously you need to bring your passport and you need to bring your current residence card.、Uh, I highly recommend that you bring an itinerary. If this is your first time applying for a renewal,、uh, definitely bring an itinerary of what you plan to do、uh, in the next six months and also what you have done in the last six months. It's not necessary, but、uh, sometimes the immigration officer that takes your application can give you, you know. Can give you a lot of crap for it.、Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to deny, reject your、uh, application. It just means that, you know,、um, you're going to cop a lot of flack for it. And yeah, there might be a chance that you get rejected, but, you know, there's a 99% chance you'll get through anyway.、Um, the first time I did it, I did it with the bare essentials application form, photo,、uh, residence card, and passport. That's all I did.、Uh, the immigration officer took it, no complaints. Boom, done.、Uh, two weeks later, I got the postcard and renewed my、uh, residence card. That being said, the second time I went, I got, a, I got there late at 3 50. It closes at 4. But, you know, Jap- Japanese mentality, they always work till the last person、uh, has been served. So I was there at, like, f- until 5 o'clock.、Um, obviously, the immigration officer was a little less than impressed. But, you know,、uh, and when, I, when my number was called, I copped a lot, of,、uh, a lot of negativity. Like, why, what have you been doing in the last six months? Your application is really bad.、Uh, you know, we expected like, an itinerary of what you plan to do, what you have done, wh- where, you, where have you traveled,、uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, it got me a little stressed because、um, <clears throat> obviously, oh gosh, I've done the wrong thing. I'm going to get my、uh, visa application rejected. <laughs> But anyway, going back to, I ended up getting it renewed anyway. But yeah, so when you get to immigration office,、uh, you want to first head into the photo booth,、uh, pay 800 yen, and get your photo taken.、Uh, if you already have photos that are legit for your、uh, residence card, then definitely bring them. It'll save you 800 yen.、Uh, have your photo taken, and then head up to the office. Uh, you want to head straight,、uh, once you enter through the doors, head straight into general information and ask for application for extension of stay.、Uh, and just state that you're here on a working holiday. They'll ask for your residence card, hand it over.、Uh, they'll notice that you're Australian, so A OK.、Um, 
and then fill it out, fill out the application form as per normal. Uh, obviously tick working holiday and the most imperative things that you need to look for is your uh, reason of stay. Uh, definitely make that informative. Uh, don't crap on, make it you know, precise, concise. Um, and yeah, just make it detailed. Uh, just make sure you a lot of you have a lot of I want to do this, I want to do that, I have done this, I have done that, kind of thing. Because it just um, gives them a reason for you, gives them a reason to let them uh, to let you stay, pretty much. Um, so, and then obviously you need to uh, you need to write down how you plan to supplement yourself. Uh, try not to state that you're working full time, even though you are allowed to, um, because the primary the primary goal of this visa is to holiday, not to work. Uh, if you're here to work, then you know, get a work work visa. But other than that, fill out the application form. It's relatively straightforward, uh, and then take a number. Actually, take a number before you fill out the application form because if you get there af um, during peak hour, you're going to be waiting there a while. Um, I got there at nine o'clock, so luckily that was the time they opened, so I got there. I got called out pretty fast. Um, but if you arrive there, you know, any time between 9 and 12, uh, then uh, definitely uh, fill it out uh, beforehand. Download it off the internet if you can, or if not, uh, get the number before you start filling it out. It'll save you some time. Uh, they close at, I think it, they close at 12 uh, for lunch, and then they reopen at 1, and then they close again at 4. If you get there before 4, uh, don't stress. They will serve you. It will just take a long time, and they'll be very pissed at you. Uh, so try and get there as fast as you can. For people that already work here, uh, I know it's hard. Uh, try and go there on one of your days off, or if you can organize a day off, do it. If not, uh, worst comes to worst, you can get there at 3.30 or just after, and they'll still serve you. Um, but that being said, be prepared for a lot of flack. Uh, so when your number is called up, please hand over, well, obviously stick the photo on the application form and then hand them over your residence card and then hand them over your passport and the application form plus the uh, I, plus an itinerary of what you've been doing for the last six months and an itinerary of what you plan to do in the next six months uh, obviously you filled it out on the application form but this helps your your cause pretty much uh, if you do, if you don't have that then it's uh, don't stress uh, technically you don't really need it but it makes the process extremely smooth. They won't question you at all. Uh, I mean, I, it highly depends on the immigration officer that you get. Uh, mine was, the first time I got, uh, was the first officer that I got was, you know, was uh, pretty cool. So, I mean, I didn't have to have my, uh, well, she said, you don't really need the itinerary, it's okay, it's okay. But the second time I came there with that itinerary, and obviously I got there really late, and the immigration officer, an older gentleman, was, you know, like, what have you been doing in the last six months? Da, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I was like, whoa, okay, maybe I'm gonna get denied this time. Two weeks later, I got the uh, the postcard saying, yeah, oh, hey, okay. But you know, hand in, uh, try and bring, uh, try and supplement yourself. Try and bring a an itinerary. Um, but if you don't, don't stress. Uh, just make sure that your application is really good. Uh, so, you know, they'll take your card, they'll take your passport, they'll take your application form, plus your itinerary if you have one. Uh, they'll ask, they'll question you if they really want to, and then they'll make you sit down for a little while while they send it over to an inspector, just to make sure your information is legit. Uh, if you've put down a, uh, a workplace, they'll uh, verify that, just to make sure that you're, you know, you're actually working. Um, I don't see why that should pose a problem. They really shouldn't check anyway, uh, because you're here on a working holiday. The, uh, but you know, wait for a little while, and then they'll call you back up, and they'll tell you that your application is now in process. Um, and so they will give you a little postcard. Uh, they'll make you write out your address, uh, and then they'll tell you in two to three, two to four weeks, uh, you'll get the same exact postcard in the mail, telling you whether you've been approved or rejected. Uh, and that's it for the first visit. Uh, now, uh, two weeks, it generally takes two weeks uh, if there's holidays in between like Golden Week or yeah, Golden Week or Silver Week, it might take an extra week, 
but generally it takes two weeks. Uh, your postcard will be in the mail. Ninety nine times out of ten, it'll uh, it'll just on the back. It'll say, uh, "Please bring this." So please bring your residence card. Please bring your passport. Please bring the postcard, and four thousand yen um, revenue stamp. So that's uh, the sign that you know you've been accepted or you've been approved. Uh, I've never heard of anyone being rejected. I'm assuming they'll send you a rejection postcard with a big <laughs> rejected. But you know that. I doubt that will happen to you. Um, so go back to the immigration office uh, whenever you can. Uh, your postcard will have uh, an expiry date of when you need to go back by. Um, before you enter the office, uh, visit a convenience store. Uh, there's actually one in Yokohama, uh, in the Yokohama immigration office, uh, before you head up the stairs. Uh, purchase a 4,000 revenue stamp. Uh, which will be your payment for the uh, visa renewal. Uh, head on up, um, go into counter number two, which is permissions. Uh, hand over your residence card, your passport, the postcard, plus the stamp, and they will take all of them. Um, they will stick the revenue stamp on um, the uh, on the piece of paper that states that you've paid for your uh, visa renewal uh, and then they'll make you sit down uh, while your new residence card is being uh, made and so when it's made they'll call you back up and here's your new residence card your old one will have a hole through it I've got two something here twice but uh, uh, and that's pretty much it for uh, applying for a visa and renewal in terms of working holiday. Uh, relatively straightforward. I, I would suggest getting there relatively early. Uh, try and get there, uh, you know, try and do your renewal uh, at least a month beforehand because it might take four weeks to process. That being said, if you do it late, um, they usually give you a slip that states that you can stay in Japan while you're application is being processed so that validates you for two more months uh, try not to do that uh, try and do it well beforehand you can apply three months prior to expiry so do it well beforehand but other than that good luck uh, next video I will state how you can convert your WHV working holiday or any other visa to a proper work visa because I've just done that see you guys